20. But you are obsessed with whether the godless will be judged. Don't worry. Judgment and justice will be upheld. But watch out, or you may be seduced by wealth. Don't let yourself be bribed into sin. Could all your wealth or all your mighty efforts keep you from distress? One more. Oh. Do not long for the cover of night, for that is when people will be destroyed. Okay. Thank you, Don. I could hear you that time. Uh, <laughs> Rachel, 21 through uh, 20. Of five. Be on God, turn back from evil, for God sent his suffering to keep you from a life of evil. Look, God is all powerful. Who is a teacher like him? No one can tell him what to do or say to him, You have done wrong, you have done wrong. Instead of glorifying his mighty works, singing songs of praise. Okay, that's it. I'm sorry. Yeah, 20, uh, 21 and 24. Okay, okay, uh, with me, uh, you, 25 to 28. Everyone has seen these things through only from a distance. Look, God is greater than we can understand. His years cannot be counted. He draws up vapor and then distills it into rain. The rain pours down from the clouds and everyone benefits. Mm -hmm. That hell's a blessing. She said, did you hear her that time? Huh? She said, did you hear her that time? Mmm. <laughs> yeah. I think she was saying also she liked what she was saying. She just read it. You know, how great God is. I'm going to give her some headphones. Well, you know, that might be working. It is closed caption headphones. That's all right. <laughs> I'm going to get these ears fixed. My hearing used to be pretty good. But anyway. Yeah, hallelujah, that's coming. I said, Hallelujah, Pastor. Said, no, 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 get them fixed. Hallelujah. Get them fixed. Because I used to get, when we were at the house, people would say something back in the back. I said, I heard that. <laughs> well, he was a teacher now. Your kids would be getting away with everything. <laughs> yeah, very well. Okay, uh, Junior, let's see here, 25 through 28? No. Oh, wait a minute. 29. 29. No, I'm sorry. 29 through, uh, yeah, read the rest of that chapter. 29 to 33. Read loud. Look, God is greater than we can understand. His. Oh, I'm sorry. Who can understand the spreading of the clouds? Who can understand the spreading of. and the thunder that rose forth from heaven? See how he spreads the light in the mountain, and how it lights up the depths of the sea. By these mighty acts, the nourishes the people, giving them food, abundance. He, he, feel, he fills his hands lightning, with lightning bolts, and hurls each at its target. The thunder announces its, his presence, the storm announces his in the next year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, here, I, I don't want to get into any theology because we got some young minds here. Um, but, and, and Elihu is basically speaking the truth. But he's talking about uh, God's, yeah, I'm going to give you a word, omnipotence, O-M-I-N-O-M-O-M-N-I-P-O-T-E-N-C-E, -E. omnipotence. He's all powerful. And that's what he's describing here. Um, my sister and I used to love to sit out on the front porch during thunderstorms mm -hmm. and watch the lightning and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget one year, um, 
on the north side of the house, there was a thing, it's it was only the one time that I saw it, and it's called ball lightning, where it just spins continuously. And uh, I don't know if you remember that, Debbie, but yeah, because I kept looking out the window and uh, looking at that. And then there was another time when um, either it had rained or was getting ready to rain, and there were raindrops probably about a gallon each. And when they hit the ground, they go boosh like that. And uh, I've only seen that one time. But when we talk about God's greatness, um, it is something that can only be um, routine. Well, I wouldn't say routinely, but it's the only thing when we talk about his greatness is that our language doesn't even begin to cover it. But we can do the best we can when we talk about how, how great God is. And the fact that he is as great as he is, and yet um, the psalmist says, what is man that thou art mindful of him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and thou visitest him, and crown his head with glory and honor. Obviously, God created man for something. Uh, Sister Harmon, 37, 1 through 4. My heart, uh -uh. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. My little thing. Is. Okay. My heart pounds as I think of this. It is thunder tremors, tremors with me. Listen carefully to okay. to the tremor thunder. of God, thunder mm -hmm. of God, whistling as it rolls from his mouth. It rolls across the whole, the heavens mm -hmm. and his li oh, lightning flashes in even every. The, hmm? Are you down oh, tremendous? In every direction. direction. Okay, direction. voice, okay. Then came, then come the Roy of the thunder, the tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. He does not restrain. Is that what you had? No, no. I lost myself. She got a tremendous, oh. a tremendous <laughs> voice. The tremendous voice of his might, majesty. majesty. Mm -hmm. He does not restrain. Restrain it when he. He speaks. When he speaks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, you know, when um, the old magnetic style speaker with the magnet and the, the diaphragm, you know, when those get broke, it kind of sounds, Ugh. well, that's what my hearing is like right now. <laughs> it's like everything is coming through a uh, broken filter, but bless the Lord, I'm able to, um, you know, struggle through it and listen to you, um, you read. Um, when we think about, well, now let's get, continue to read and uh, talk about uh, some of the awesomeness of um, the Lord God. Mm -hmm. uh, Debbie, five through eight. God's voice is glorious in the thunder. We can't even imagine the greatness of his power. He directs the snow to fall on the earth and tells the rain to pour down. Then everyone stops working so they can watch his power. The wild animals take cover and stay inside their dens. That's it, man. Hmm. Okay, one, uh, nine through, nine through 12. Which chapter? 37. 
Yeah, 37. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> he shows them the reason. He shows them their sins of pride. He gets their attention and commands they turn from evil. Okay. Are you at 37? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm at 36. Verse 9. Nine through, yeah, nine through twelve. Yeah, nine through twelve. The stormy wind comes from its chamber, and driving winds bring the cold. God's breath sends the ice freezing wide expanses of water. He loads the clouds with moisture, and they flash with his lightning. The clouds turn about at his direction. They do whatever he commands throughout the earth. Okay. Okay. Bill. Thirteen to sixteen. Right. You make a deed thing happen either to punish people or to show his unfailing love. Pay attention to this job. This, this job. <laughs> Stop and consider the wonderful miracles of God. Do you know how God controlled the storm and caused the lightning to flash from his cloud? Do you understand how he moved the cloud with wonderful perfection and skills? Mm. Okay. Um, you said job, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I've been reading, I so. reading about it. We've been reading what now for two months, and I said job. They're going to say, I want you to turn to the 35th <laughs> chapter of job. <laughs> First one. People can read the job. Hey, 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 <laughs> they are still the same way. Yes, sir. Hey. What do they call those? Um, <laughs> you do? <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I'll think of it in a minute. Yeah, um, yeah, English literature was one of my uh, studies yeah. in college. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, let's see here. Okay. Uh, Don. 17 through. Um, yeah, 17 through 20. When you are sweltering in your clothes and the south wind dies down and everything is still. He makes the skies reflect the heat like a bronze mirror. Can you do that? Yeah. So teach the rest of us what to say to God. We are too ignorant to make our own arguments. Should God be notified that I want to speak? Can people even speak when they are confused? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, Rachel, 21, yeah, I finished that chapter out there. We cannot look at the sun, for it shines brightly in the sky. When the winds, when the wind, wind clears away the clouds, so also golden splendor comes from the mountain of God. He is clothing, clothed in dazzling splendor. We cannot imagine the power of the Almighty, but even though He is just and righteous, He does not destroy us. No wonder people everywhere fear Him. All who um, all are wise shall humbly verse. Reference, okay. Um, and like I say, this is, well, actually, yeah, I was going to say, this is gospel too. Um, even though the gospels had not been written yet. Um, illegal, even though he's using it for the wrong, let me give you a word. Um, Biblicist. A biblicist is a person who knows the scriptures in and out, yet he uses them for the wrong purposes. Yeah. Uh, Reverend Vaughn used to talk about this elder in the Church of the Living God. I think he said his name was Vonsworth. But he said you could turn to any scripture in the Bible and start reading it, and he would finish it. Jack Van Imp, I don't know how many of y'all see him. I don't know, really, maybe he still comes on TV. Um, he's got 20 some thousand scriptures memorized per, uh, per verbatim. So, um, when we look, yeah. Okay, we're going to stop there because I use the rest of the time for discussion. When we look at God, and it's funny, like I was saying, I got off on a tangent because I was talking about, and that's what Elu is doing. 
to try to dress down Job. He's using troops to try to prove Job wrong and stuff, and that ain't the way you use the scripture. He should have been encouraging Job, but anyway. Uh, when, when I think about the goodness of the Lord, and how he has blessed me, my soul cries, hallelujah. Um, we talked about adversity earlier here. We'll start next week at uh, Job 38. <coughs> and that'll be the fifth Sunday. studied it since May. But now that's good. Um, I like astronomy and uh, the Milky Way galaxy, which is the galaxy that we're in, from one, one end of the Milky Way galaxy to the other, and we're a small galaxy, uh, not humongous. It's 100,000 light years across. In light years, light travels 6 trillion miles in one year. So we're talking about the Milky Way galaxy is 6 trillion times 100,000, and I don't know what that number would be. But it would be 40 or 50 zeros behind it, or maybe even more. Mm -hmm. I know a Google is a number with 100 zeros behind it. So it might be greater than that. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about out of him came all that is and all that ever will be. Yes, sir. So when you think about the awesomeness of God and the fact that even though he purposely created man to be, so he, God, could be the object of man's worship. Mm -hmm. That's what God wanted. Was a man, and we're talking about woman too, in the Bible, man is generic. He wanted to be worshiped. And hallelujah, <laughs> he is worthy to be praised. If I had 10,000 tongues and praised him with every one, oh, gee, it would be enough. I'm like David now. He says, in the morning, I will give him praise. At mid-morning, I will give him praise. At noonday, I will give him praise. Oh, shucks. Now, that ain't the way David says. That's the way I'm saying it. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. Yes, sir. 34 and 1, Psalm 34 and 1, one of my wife's favorite scriptures. Mm -hmm. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Yes, sir. And you know, when you practice that and do that, uh, it's not hard to, be, I didn't mean to necessarily get into this, but it's not hard to live free from skin. Skin. Sin. <laughs> because you don't have time to entertain the devil well, and his man. thoughts. That's true. But for some of reason, it seems to be hard for us as humans mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. But I, when Bill said, I think we sometimes give too much uh, credit to the devil. Mm -hmm. Because third John says, mm -hmm. greater is he that is in the sir. world. He is already a defeated being. When Jesus got out of the grave, he said, all power has yes, been sir. given to me in heaven and earth. I have the keys to death and hell. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And so um, it also says, for by one man came death. Yes. Mm -hmm. By one man came also the resurrection of the dead. So 
Um, <clears throat> it's just, again, I, I don't want to get too theological, but it's just almost impossible for us, the created, mm -hmm. to describe the creator. And what we know about God, he has allowed us to know. That's why it says in Corinthians, and I'm about to do it, because I want to, y'all, if you had any, discuss, any uh, remarks. Uh, for we see through a glass darkly, but in that day we will see and be known even as we are known. And for years, I always thought about, now what does that exactly mean? Mm -hmm. Well, what that means is that every living being, saint or sinner on this earth, have the gift of life in them, which comes from God. If we die in Christ, like Dorothy did, the Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Mm -hmm. If we die out of Christ, mm -hmm. like a lot of people, God would have it that no man would perish, we get thrown into a little prison mm -hmm. awaiting the final judgment. We don't enter into the throne room of God into his presence, no. Yes. Sin will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Mm. No more flesh and blood. But hallelujah, our resurrected bodies will. Okay, anyway, any comments? I just got to say, Pastor, when we make our own ways, God, we got to believe God going to determine our paths and where we go. You know, you ever be sitting by yourself, nothing on, and you start thinking about the glory of the Lord? Yeah. You ever do that? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Well, um, people think you're crazy. I'll say, oh, hallelujah, start speaking in tongues, you know, start dancing a little bit, as much as this old hip will let me anymore. Mm -hmm. um, the right perspective and the awe towards God. And Elihu was right, but using it for the wrong purpose. Mm. And like Wendell stated a while back, Job did hold his integrity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know if I would have come out as good as he did. Um, for real. With the onslaught, <laughs> losing my kids, mm -hmm. losing my health. Mm -hmm. My wife come up to me and say, Joe, a lot of people think that she was being mean. No, she was being compassionate. Because she couldn't stand to see Joe. There's a thing called a pot's herd. Uh, in modern terms today, it's a spork. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it was made out of wood. <laughs> and he was scraping the pus <laughs> out of his sores. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And his wife looked at him and says, Joe, why don't you curse God and die? And Job said, in order to interpret him, what are you talking about, my foolish woman? Yes, sir. He said, though the skin worms destroy this flesh, yet in my flesh shall I behold him, and mine eyes shall not behold another. So, uh, oh yeah, yeah, I, um, uh, I'm just eternally grateful. I mean, you know, I'm grateful for the, for the years Dorothy, uh, the Lord gave me with Dorothy. Mm -hmm. But even more so than that, I'm so grateful that he looks in upon me with favor. Mm -hmm. And the reason he does that is because, as it says in Romans, um, uh, if thou shalt confess the Lord with thy mouth mm -hmm. and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Mm -hmm. And that's why I have the favor. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You know, uh, sal salvation is a, is, is a gift. It's free. All we need to do is take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. But God is so good. And he wants it from a willing heart that he will not force you to receive him. Mm -hmm. And if you happen to die mm -hmm. without receiving the Lord as your personal Savior, and I always, I, I've said this before too, 
Um, if you end up going to hell, well, well. you will have to trip over have mercy. Have mercy. the spikes in the feet, nails in the hand, mm -hmm. crown of thorns on the head, side spear, uh, side pierced body of Jesus to get in hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Anyway, let us pray. Father, we thank you. Uh, for the study, uh, we, we just thank you for thy anointing. Thank you for thy strength, Lord, because yes. uh, I feel my help coming. I just bless your name. Hallelujah. And I just thank you, Lord, and I, I just thank you for everybody in Jesus this morning. Yes. And now as we go forward into our, our morning service, I ask that you bless the speaker and uh, crown his head with wisdom and on high. Yes. And that through that, message, we will be encouraged. And if there's some that are here that are not saved, might be crying, what must I do to be saved? And I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Brother, that was tasty. Oh. <laughs> you know what? This is the day I should have bought the donuts. I didn't know one was bringing his daughters with it and his son. But y'all been getting that though after after church, right? No, they kind of got deviated. They didn't make it. Oh, okay. Hey, girl.